Okay, Coach Thorne. So national middle school duels, you're bringing your club down from Minnesota. How long would the drive be for you guys? I think it's about 10 or 11 hours, um, you know, from the cities probably, about 10 or 11 hours. So 10 or 11 hours. And are we going to get double Thorns? Are we going to get Thorns, Thorn brothers together there? Yep, yep. So Mike, my older brother Mike, will be there with me. Um, Mike has a boy, a 12-year-old, sixth grader, Jackson. He'll be on the team, my nephew. And then, yeah, we've got a bunch of other kids, primarily from Minnesota, kids that have been to camp, and then a few kids from Iowa also that are joining our team. So, um, yeah, excited to get out there. So last year was your first year at the National Middle School Duels in the Toledo area. Um, mm -hmm. This year's actually a different setting. We, last year it was in a soccer dome. This year mm -hmm. it's going to be in the actual Se Seagate Center where we are going to, uh, you know, where, where it's been run forever. So that, that's the thing. Like, we're, it's a great facility. The facility is – it's a big, gigantic facility. You're going to love it. So um, when you guys were there last year, you were the Silver Pool Champions, correct? Yes. Who did you yep. guys run into? Who was your – who did you take losses to and who did you get some good wins from? God, I'm trying to remember the names. Um, I think Dynasty was the team that well, maybe they ended won. up winning the Dynasty tournament. Dynasty won so it. They yeah, were a chance. Okay. You yeah, wrestled so them? We, yeah, yeah, so we wrestled yeah. them and got to wrestle. Um, my nephew Jackson actually, actually wrestled the Buzakis girl. She's really good. Girl. She's really, really tough. Good. Yeah. Yep. And we, uh, you know, the older Buzakis wrestled the Carlson, one of the Carlson boys from Minnesota. Yeah um so yeah we we get we ran into them we lost to them and then um wrestled in the silver pool and ended up winning that so it was fun your club you know because there, there's there's other minnesota clubs that come down coach lawrence brings his team down yep comes down and you guys are both a minnesota alum so tell us a little bit about thorn wrestling tell us a little bit more about your club and what you guys do because pinnacle is different than what you guys do where are you guys located and and what are you drawn from for uh, Thorn Wrestling? Yep. So, you know, we're running primarily summer camp. So we're down in Odin, Minnesota, my wife and I. Um, and so actually we're, that's the shed back there that we run our camps out of. Um, so kind of out in the, out in the stick. So the kids that I'm bringing are kids that have been to my camps, um, been coming for quite a few years. And I'm trying to, you know, bring a lot of the outstate Minnesota kids because Jared and Brandon are up there in the, in the Metro in the city. Um, so a lot of the kids that, that are on my team, some of them are from the cities, but a lot of them are the outstate Minnesota kids also, um, to get the opportunity. So, yeah. Is that where you're from? Is that where you were like born and raised? Is that where you are now? So I'm from St. Michael, Minnesota, and that's where my wife and I moved, uh, after, after college. Um, Odin, Minnesota is where we've always been to camps. It's my grandpa's acreage down in Southwestern Minnesota. Um, so I've always lived in St. Michael. We moved down last year. Um, we actually just had, uh, twin twins this last year. So we're, oh my our goodness. lives have gotten a lot more chaotic. Um, what did you have twin boys, girls, boy, a girl, what'd you have? We had two boys, Isaac and Elijah. Oh my goodness. Yep. You don't know anything about sleep since you've had two twins. Yeah. Our lives have gotten a lot more chaotic. So definitely. Um, how old are they? They are almost two months. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. How are you even able to make it down this weekend? Honestly, I got a good wife. That's, that's why, but, uh, no. So we have, you know, we have help actually her family's going to come out this weekend and spend a couple of days with her. They're from Wisconsin. Her parents run a gymnastics gym in Wisconsin. So they run their own business. And so they're able to, you know, make things work with taking time off. And so that's been good. Um, and then my parents are around a little bit too. So, and we've got family down here in Southwestern Minnesota, my cousin, uh, Jake Johnson actually coaches at one of the high schools, Jackson County Central, which has produced some really good wrestlers over the years. Uh, the Moore brothers, um, Cole Von Olin, I don't know if you remember that. He's a guy I grew up training alongside at, at Cadet and Junior Camps and stuff like that. But The Moore brothers wrestle for Northern Iowa and Oklahoma State? Correct. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Wow, you guys got good wrestling down there. Yeah, it is. Southwestern Minnesota's got good wrestling. So, Awesome. Uh, what What – as far as camps, how many camps do you try and run in, in like a, a summer, let's say? Summer, we did, last year we did 13. You did 13 weeks of camp? Yep, yep. What is a camp average? Like, what's a camp average size? Uh, we try not to do too much over 50 kids. So 50 kids is kind of our, our sweet spot. Um, 
Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a couple more, but about 50 kids. You are, so. that is amazing. And so you guys, that is like a bona fide camp system. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, my wife cooks the meals and the kids stay out here. And again, I don't know if you can kind of see behind me. Well, but yeah, I got the bar. No, I got the bar. I got it. Dead. Yeah, so it's uh, <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere for sure. Well, yeah. And it, I don't know, did you guys used to go to the Jordan camps? Yep. Yep. So my brothers, Mike and myself and Tommy all went out there for many years. Um, and yeah, just loved the, the idea, the atmosphere, you know, you get kids isolated and, um, I don't know, we just think it's a pretty cool deal. And especially in this day and age, seems like it's good, good deal for kids to get away and kind of unplug and just focus on training for a few days. So. I love it. That's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. That is really cool what you guys are doing. I've done the Legends of Gold. I obviously I worked the uh, Jordan camps and went to the Jordan camp as a high yep. schooler and then worked it as a college kid. But And I've gone and covered it, you know, as a, a guy who does media. So I've seen it at all levels. Uh, sounds like I might be doing it as a dad sooner than I thought. I <laughs> player, and they're really into it. They're, they're not really into it, but they're into wrestling, right? Awesome. They enjoy it. So it sounds like I'm going to be going down there soon as a dad before I know it. Yeah. <laughs> if they stick with it, but that's up to them. But um, what's the biggest thing you want kids to get out of like your, your national tournaments, whether it's preseason nationals, whether it's national middle school duels, whatever it may be, what do you, Coach Thorne, what do you want kids to get out of these national type events? I mean, I think the kids that um, the middle school duels brings out the kids and the coaches, and it's just kind of the top, top tier kids that are, you know, they're, they're training a lot and um, it's good for the kids that are ready. You know, the kids that are doing really well locally to go and just test themselves against the best kids. And it's all practice, you know, for the next level anyway. And at least that's the way we look at it. And um, I just think it's a really good opportunity for the kids to go test themselves and see where they're at. So. Last year, you're essentially the ninth best team there, right? If you win that, mm -hmm. that pool, you wrestled the number one team. Was the level mm -hmm. of competition what you thought it was going to be? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I've kind of told the people, the parents that were, you know, of the kids that are going this year. It's like, you know, you get to see all the best East Coast kids, Ohio kids, you know. Sometimes they wrestle a little differently than the Midwest kids, too, or they're good in the mat, or they're good on the mat, um, good with their mat wrestling. And um, I just think it's fun. It's fun to, you know, a lot of the year you're getting the same – same kids, you're, you're really wrestling the same kids. And out there, it seems like for us, we get to see some different kids that you don't always see. So it's a good event. You guys are going to be able to park in a parking garage, go into your hotel, never have to leave the hotel and the venue all weekend if you want to. You can get there Friday way in, not leave until Sunday night. It's a one-stop shop. You can eat there. You can do everything there. It's, it's like amazing. You're going to love it, man. I can't wait for you to see because last year you know it was in that soccer dome and it was it was COVID right and they made yep. it happen they still made it happen and COVID you know a lot of things were obviously I think everybody gets that right mm -hmm. okay so here's the next last thing I got for you why were the Thorn brothers so entertaining to watch in Minnesota why did I always love it when you guys were on the mat and I could you know I could always count on fireworks whenever you guys were on the mat at the NCAAs the Big Ten dual meets no matter what it was, you guys always brought the heat. Why were you guys – why such an exciting brand of wrestling? I guess I just got to credit our coaches. We, had, we were blessed with good coaches all the way growing up. Um, I think I told you that last year, you know, that, that stems from Jared Lawrence and Brandon Paulson and Chad Erickson at the, you know, at the youth level all the way through to my high school coaches I get a lot of credit for. And then, of course, you know, Eggum and, and J-Rob set a pretty high standard for what's expected of – the type of wrestling that, that, uh, is brought. And, uh, so I think that, you know, we're around good coaches. So. Okay. What is J Rob saying when he says to you, do you see Zay? What is he saying? I have not figured it out. You see. And then he always said, what is J Rob saying? Can you tell me? You see, you see, what is it? I've heard Zay. I've heard yes. See, I've heard Zay. Yeah. What is it? I wish we could three-way call Pat Smith because he's Pat Smith, the Greco guy, because he's got he's uh, he's got the best impressions of Jay. But no, man, Jay's just one of a kind and oh. a legend, and and uh, very fortunate to be under his tutelage for as long as I was. So, yeah, have you ever heard Kevin Roberts do it? No, I haven't. Oh my God, 
because he coached there. He was the strength and conditioning oh, yeah. for like 05, 06, and now his son Drew's on the team. Yeah. Uh, he gets on some of these. Some of these uh, J-Rob brands are the best. And I think when they hired him, J-Rob had like this crazy – he was on Mount Whitney and he, they lost him and he had like his lung <laughs> collapse. Dude, he, no, he almost died on Mount Whitney. That is how yeah, like yeah. the circumstances Roberts was hired on <laughs> for J Rob. I love it. Yeah. I can't believe you're. Yep. No, if you, your yeah, if you think you're crazy. Yeah. Your brother has oh. a year old kid. Yep. Mike does. Yep. And it's his only boy. So. Yeah. He was. 22, 22, 23, you know, and him and Andrew got married young. So, um, yeah, so he's 12 and we just had our first two kids, my wife and I. So we just, uh, got them a couple cousins and, oh my God. Um, yeah. So you guys are insane. I love it. I love everything about it. You wrestle like how you live. You're just a little insane. You're a little out of, a little out of pocket. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see? Yeah. <laughs> What's, what did you, what, tell me all the, the versions you've heard. I mean, you're, you pretty much hit it. That's, uh, I mean, you see, it's, it's, uh, it's classic J-Rob and, um, <laughs> uh, man, I wish I could hear, hear it a few more times. So I know, man. Awesome guy too, right? Yep. Awesome yep. guy. So, okay. You got anything else for me? No, man. We're excited to get out there. Um, Really appreciate what you guys do to promote to promote the sport of wrestling and, and bring high level competition like this about for for the kids and it's really good for the Minnesota kids. I don't know if you know this, but you know seventh and eighth graders can wrestle varsity in Minnesota. So you know we're bringing kids out that will be vying for state medals and possibly That's state champions. That blows my mind. My mind yeah, so. blows when you tell me that. Mm -hmm. did, did Gable wrestle varsity as a seventh and eighth grader for Apple Valley? Oh yeah, I don't know that. Gable won it as an eighth grader. Of course, he was huge, you know. He was wrestling grown men. Yes. Um, but, yep, Gable did. You know, Mark Hall was, our, I think, our I only six Mark Hall, Mark Hall you know. did a year in Kentucky like that yep. and went up to Apple Valley. And yep, so Mark, yep. yep. When, do you, so. when do you start camps? When, when, when's like, do you start in June or do you start in May for camps? Normally, in a normal year, we do a couple in the fall, uh, which I guess that's the end of the year. But so start of the year, yep, we'll do a couple in the spring majority in the summer and then we do typically a couple in the fall this year we did not my sister christine got married um you know 20 23rd of october and then you know we had twins november or excuse me september 20th so it was kind of just like not doing it this year but we'll we'll get back at it next fall so um yeah and then i do run you know some weekly training um that's basically what it is you know once a week twice a week getting kids together um, you know, they have to drive a little further cause we're, you know, we're, it's 30, you know, it's 20 minutes between towns out here, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah. Do you draw Wisconsin and Iowa kids for the club nights? You know, Iowa, yes. South Dakota, actually more than Wisconsin. We're Western, we're Western side of the state. Western. So no Wisconsin, but we do get some Sioux Falls kids that will, come out for a once a week deal, you know, where it's good for them. Um, yeah. How far are you from Beersford? Great question. I think a couple hours, two hours, probably. I might try yeah. and double up next time I get out there. So you know, that'd be awesome. You guys up and hit them up. And I always like going to see what Terry Pack's doing. It's always innovative. It's always something different. And I know you guys are obviously newly emerging, but sounds like it's going to only roll now with two new twin sons only going to roll even more now <laughs> i love we'll to see they will be exposed to it anyway uh, yeah and that was the other thing that when i worked for jordan's rocky was rocky jordan was actually just born mm -hmm. and he got whooping cough and almost died um as, as like a uh an infant and then they had to move the camps jeff bought a whole nother facility and then uh micah and Bo just had mullets and ran around and played in the <laughs> and jumped Jumped, and they were like little, little boys, you know what I mean? They were three, four, five years old. So I remember them. And then Rocky was just born. So it's crazy to see it, like how it develops, you know what I mean? It's, it's awesome. It is. Well, it's funny because my dad, my older, or my dad, my older dad, my dad, John, wrestled at Iowa State. And he knew uh, Jim. I think Jim a little more than Jeff, but he knew the Jordans. Yeah. And so we had cousins that lived in Tennessee. So there were a couple occasions where we'd be driving out to Tennessee and my dad would call it the Jordans and we'd swing in and, 
had Isaac Jordan be cranking a front quarter Nelson on me and then we continue on our way to Tennessee. So we know the Jordans well and yeah, they're uh, got a little people. blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So I love it, dude. So awesome. Well, I can't wait to get up there. I will talk to you this weekend, Coach Thorne. I appreciate you. I talk to your brother. I want to talk to both of you guys. You guys are awesome people. I appreciate you. Do you got anything else for me? We good? I think we're good, man. Appreciate you. All right. Stick around for a little bit here, right? Okay.